We begin with breaking news out of the White House this noontime. Less than 24 hours after he visited Rhode Island and Massachusetts, President Joe Biden has tested positive for COVID-19. Here's a live look at the White House in Washington, D.C., where Mr. Biden is isolating right now. The White House physician says the president has mild symptoms, a runny nose, fatigue with an occasional dry cough that started last night. President Biden landed at TF Green Airport early yesterday afternoon. He then made his way to Somerset, Mass. for a speech on energy. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshuto was also in Somerset yesterday. Sheena, the president was in close contact with some of our local leaders Wednesday. That's right, Kate, and we actually have a lot of those interactions in our own video. Greeting him on the tarmac was Warwick Mayor Frank Picozzi and Governor Dan McKee. On top of that, several other officials were on Air Force One with him on that flight from D.C. to Warwick, including Representative Jake Auchincloss and Senator Elizabeth Warren. Now, both Picozzi and McKee's offices say the men took COVID tests prior to meeting the president, and of course, they were negative. Following Rhode Island Department of Health guidelines, we are told McKee does not have to quarantine, but he will monitor his own symptoms. Biden is fully vaccinated and double boosted, we're told, and we know that he will isolate and carry out his duties from the White House, isolating there. The president is taking the treatment packs loaded. Biden is 79 years old, and we talked to Governor McKee about this just moments ago. I hope the president is feeling well, and uh, I know I'm feeling well. I got tested uh, before his visit, and uh, that's negative, and uh, I'm good, and we'll continue to get tested as we need to get tested. Now, you probably remember in October of 2020, former President Trump and the First Lady tested positive for COVID. Trump was back then taken to Walter Reed Hospital before eventually recovering. He was 74 at that time. And the White House says Biden will return to in-person work once he tests negative. And Kate, we're working this story really all day long. We're expecting a White House briefing from Dr. Jaw soon. But for now, I'm Sheena Loshuto, 12 News. And stay with 12 News as we bring you the latest on the story with reports from our own reporters, Washington, D.C. Bureau and CBS News. You can always find the very latest headlines around the clock on WPRI.com.